Hey, in this video, we're going to be talking about 10 reasons to avoid moving to Babcock Ranch. Now, you're probably wondering why in the world would these guys talk about not moving to the place that they live? Yes, we love it here, but we're going to be up front. This place may not be for you, but we're going to be talking about the most common reasons people don't want to live in Babcock Ranch. And we're going to be giving you our counter arguments as to why you should look past some of those reasons and still make a move to Babcock Ranch. So let's go. All right, so this is point number one, reasons to avoid moving to Babcock Ranch. All right, so the first point we want to talk about, people always cry, oh, Babcock Ranch is not close to the beach. Yeah, we get it. We are about a good 45 minute drive to the nearest beach. And you get all these people who like think that they need to have that beach life when they come to Florida. But let me tell you the reasons why that's really not such a big deal. I mean, number one, being so far inland where Babcock Ranch is, we're protected from that tidal surge. I mean, we had Hurricane Ian. If you didn't see the devastation it did to the beaches and even a little bit inland with that huge tidal surge, right? You don't want to have to experience that in your life. You get way higher premiums buying closer to the water it's pretty much just a like a fact the closer you get to the water the more you're paying for the house the more your insurance is going to be because the flood insurance down in those coastal areas is way higher so living inland in babcock ranch you know we got better real estate prices we have lower insurance so to me i kind of love not living close to the beach because i think there's way bigger threats to your financials with all that issues with the storms nowadays and climate change i get a lot more peace of mine living in Babcock Ranch, 31 feet above sea level. All right, so this is point number two, construction. So another negative people often bring up is construction. Yes, when you move into a new construction neighborhood, you're going to have to deal with all those trucks coming in at 7 a.m., all those workers, you're going to hear those hammers hitting the nails on the houses and that loud noise. And yeah, for some people, they can't handle that. And unfortunately, there's nothing you can really do about it. You know, this is a master plan community. They're gonna be building homes. They're gonna be building commercial centers here for the next probably 20 years. Now, there are some ways to mitigate this, however. If you do come in here now, we do have about four or five neighborhoods that are almost finished. So you can look at a resale, but obviously you definitely need to weigh the pros of buying a resale versus a new construction home, right? So nails in the tire, all that stuff people complain about, it does happen here. And there's really no ways to get around it other than buying in one of the more established mature neighborhoods. Another obnoxious point people bring up all the time of reasons to avoid moving here, and this is really, I think, a Florida thing, are all the animals, the bugs. People get so upset and nervous about alligators. They think their alligators are gonna run out and eat their dogs, and that's like farther from the truth. I think all this stuff are just stereotypes that people have. I can tell you assuredly that alligators want nothing to do with you. Rattlesnakes want nothing to do with you. You know, all the other little critters that are around in this place. Now, of course, you do need to have common sense. You shouldn't see a bull, big bull alligator in the lake at nighttime and go jump in there with him, right? But for the most part, animals aren't something that you should be concerned about. Yeah, we do have them in our backyards and stuff. Another thing people bring up are the bugs. Yeah, it is buggy here, but like where in Florida is it not buggy? And this is why screening in your back lanai is such a good idea because that can really cut down on the amount of insects that are you know crawling all over your skin while you're out there in the backyard in the pool so again i think this is just another point that gets misconstrued by the media and people just having some insecurities or ridiculous like you know they rationalize about these things in ways that just really make no sense so i can tell you firsthand you don't have to worry about alligators or rattlesnakes or any of these other critters running around here so another reason people avoid babcock is that we have not a big commercial shopping center yet. Now we did just open a public, so we do have the grocery store finally, which is awesome. We have a few restaurants and more is opening, but I get this complaint all the time. Oh, John Babcock, I got to drive into Fort Myers to go to Costco or BJ's or Lowe's or Home Depot. I'm like, I'm like, how often do you need to go to that store realistically? You can go to Costco once every three weeks and stock up. That's the point of going to Costco. And same thing with the Lowe's and Home Depot. Do you really need to be going there that frequently? So the good side is that Babcock's growing. And every year since I've lived here now, going on the four years, I've seen more and more commercial come. And more is coming. Like we're here in Founder Square. We got B Street coming where there's going to be more restaurants, shops at Yellow Pine, right across from Publix right now where we're getting a Marshalls, an Ace Hardware, Five Below, a lot more restaurants. So, you know, I 
I don't think it's a bad thing that we have limited commercial because it's all coming, right? If you do need to go to Fort Myers, I just, my big suggestion is make sure you plan out your visits down there, you know, take a day a week and hit all those shops and stores that you need to hit. So you're not going back and forth all the time. Point number five, eight two A's. Another complaint I get all the time is people say, hey, I don't want to live in an HOA. I don't like people telling me what I can and cannot do. And here's my rebuttal to that. The HOA here is very welcoming and easy to work with, in my opinion. Like I just did all this landscaping on the exterior of my home and there were no issues getting everything I wanted to put in. Yes, there are rules. And yes, people also complain about the cost all the time. I think we get great value in our HOA here. Like, so for example, most neighborhoods get internet every every neighborhood gets internet so if you think if you were living in cape coral and paying for comcast i hear people paying like 200 plus dollars a month for that stuff so you that's a fee that you're paying for one way or the other same thing with lawn care we get that in almost every neighborhood here whether you're doing the lawn care or you're paying for someone to do it there's a cost to do lawn care at a home so that's all included here and the other thing i love is that we're getting all these great amenities for a reasonable price we've got these community pools the hoa's put on all these great events all the time and all the new neighborhoods are also building their own amenities so you know for about $350 a month which is kind of now the average cost for most neighborhoods I feel like you get a lot comparatively I mean I've talked to people who've moved from some of the older more mature areas of Florida where like they're paying $500 a month and all it gets is like the common area maintenance right so I think we get a lot of great value in the HOA I mean your alternative is you can go live in North Fort Myers or Cape Coral or unincorporated like areas that don't have HOA and then you get the neighbor who lives next door who parks all his work trucks and trucks in the yard or they've got those overgrown lawns that you know the city hasn't come out yet to give them an ordinance fine. I think you need to weigh the pros and cons really carefully before you cry about the HOA being a bad thing here. Hey, we're hoping you're enjoying this video. If so, if you could smash that like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell, as Team John Garuti is always updating new videos with the most current content about Babcock Ranch. Also, if you're interested in hearing more and seeing more, if you could visit our new website, BabcockRanchNewHomes.com. We have a lot of new great information about the lifestyle of Babcock Ranch and what the actual costs are of building a new home here in this great community. And at any time, schedule a video call with the team at talkbabcockranch.com where one of us will meet you via Skype, Zoom, or telephone to talk more about your interest in Babcock Ranch. All right, so point number six is that I've received a bunch of times too is that the high school sports program and just in general, the school's pro sports program is inadequate. And yeah, listen, we don't have the biggest sports program yet, but we're a new town. We have a school that's only like five years old. So all those things again are coming and we do have sports teams already. I think this year, um, I know we have a volleyball team at the high school. We have a basketball team. There's track and field. There's a cheerleading squad. And then we also have all these good after school activities. Like I know there's an MMA club. Listen, yes, we do have a limited sports program right now, but that's part of like buying into the vision here. This is gonna be a town one day with everything you need and that is one thing that is maybe a little limited right now but I know the school right now is on a big push to raise millions of dollars to build out all these sports programs for the kids here in the future point seven privacy between houses all right so another thing I've heard over and over John I don't like how much room there is in between the houses and listen if you're moving to Babcock Ranch, this is just something you have to put up with because this is a master plan community. And you're gonna find that in every master plan community in Florida because why they're trying to maximize the utilization of the space. So yeah, you only get about 10 to 12 feet in between homes. You're not gonna get huge acre, two acre lots here. It's just a fact. And if you need more space, I mean, I don't, there's nothing I can really rebut here. I mean, I think what you get with living in this town is like the rebuttal. We get all these great amenities. We get this great community great friendships it's so easy to meet people here so that's kind of the thing i i look at like i'm getting all this stuff yeah my neighbor's right next door but i think there's so much more that comes that with living here in this community that you know it, it doesn't become a factor for me now if it's a factor for you i totally get it if you need an acre two acre then talk to the team we can help you explore na adjacent areas like punta gorda and north fort myers all right point number eight traffic one thing that has really become a concern for 
for people is traffic and that's getting out of Babcock Ranch. So this I think is a limiting factor that's worth discussing because there is one road going out of Babcock Ranch and that's State Road 31. And you gotta take that down to hit 75 to either go north or go south. Now, what's really been a challenge is that as Babcock has grown, has yet to grow. So there's a lot of traffic in the morning headed down into Fort Myers and you really gotta like leave a little bit extra earlier to get out of this place. There's a lot of street lights now. Like when I first moved here four years ago, there were no lights on State Road 31, but they have had to add the lights for safety considerations. There used to be a lot of traffic and accidents on that road. But now with the traffic picking up, I think those street lights have cut down on the number of accidents, but it's increased the traffic. Now 31 is going to be widened. And I think that project is supposed to happen around 2025. So you do need to consider if you are going to be working outside of Babcock Ranch to be leaving a little bit extra early to get down into Fort Myers. Now, another big thing that I think is a counter argument to that is again, Babcock's one day going to have everything you need. I mean, even my myself now, there's very few reasons why I actually need to leave Babcock Ranch. It usually is going into Fort Myers to like a specialty store or taking my kids down to Fort Myers for gymnastics classes. But you know, I, there are improvements happening to that road. So hopefully that will relieve the traffic. And again, with Babcock growing and more things coming to the town that should cut down on the need for people to leave Babcock Ranch. All right, point number nine. So this point I get a lot from the older clients that I work with and that's healthcare access. So again, cut straight to the facts, right? We have a general practice right here at Founder Square, which, you know, it's not the biggest practice. There's only, I think, some nurse practitioners in there. So getting a new appointment in there can take months. Now, if you're already a client, you can usually get an appointment like right away. But where it comes into concern for the older people is that they have usually specialty doctors, right? Whatever it may be, dermatologist, heart doctor. And there are none of those doctors presently today in Babcock Ranch. There's no hospitals here. So a lot of the older people can Concern. what if they have an emergency and now we do have EMS right on site and the EMS can hit your house in about five minutes but their concern then is like hey it's about a 20-25 minute ride to the hospital like am I going to survive if I do have an emergency and I think it is a valid point to consider now I can tell you we are getting an urgent care clinic here at the shops at Yellow Pine so we're going to have that soon we are going to get a hospital right here on the grounds eventually um, what I was told is that when there's 5,000 homes the hospital will be built. So like, what's the timeline for that? We just sold 35, we just passed 3,500 homes sold in Babcock Ranch. So my guess is it's probably like another five years before that hospital is finished. So if you do have a lot of healthcare needs, like I, I'm just being straight honest with you, you should definitely consider the time to get to all those specialty doctors outside of Babcock Ranch. So the last point on this video we want to talk about is restaurants. Now we have a grand total of five restaurants in this town right now. We've got the Lake House right here in Founder Square. We got Pie Pizza, Awesome Pizza Parlor, Majuma, Awesome Mexican Food, Yu Yi Sushi. And then you can kind of consider Slater's right here in Founder Square restaurant. It's more of a quick serve kind of style restaurant. But yeah, people often cry about that too, because if you want some like really high end, you know, fine dining, you do have to drive down to like Bonita Springs or Naples. Fort Myers has a lot of nice restaurants right there in downtown. I wouldn't consider any of them like super high-end fine dining. But again, we talked about Babcock growing. There's a lot of restaurants coming now with the shops at Yellow Pine. I heard of a Panera Bread come in, a fish, like one of those higher-end fish food chains. I can't remember what. I've also heard rumors of like Chick-fil-A come in. So again, this is just something that the town, we need more population to support all these businesses. So over time, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of great choices for fine dining here in Babcock. But right now, we are are a little bit limited. Thanks for joining us on this video and we hope that you found some value. We would love the opportunity to work with you and explore your interest here at Babcock Ranch. So here's how you can get in touch with us. Number one, by email. Info at southwestfloridarealestate.com. Two, you can call our office line at 941-216-6494. If you'd like to get more information about the town prior to coming, schedule a video conference with us at talkbabcockranch.com. And if you know that you wanna come check this place out, you can go right now to tourbabcockranch.com to schedule a meeting with one of our associates and they'd be happy to give you a tour of the town. Thanks again for watching this video with us. We can't 
can't wait to meet you and we hope to be able to call you neighbor one day.